Hey guys, how's it going? Hopefully things are good. I'm still puttering along on this 4910 experimental saw. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try really, really hard to get six and a half horse out of this thing. Uh, being piston ported. I've gotten 6.1 out of the other one. I've gotten 7.2 out of my reed saw version one. So I, I really feel six and a half is capable. Uh, I'm I'm not going to share my uh, numbers on this because this is an experiment and I don't know if it's going to turn out good or not. But it is it is dual I guess it's dual ported I guess is what you want to want to call it because I ported it uh, just to scooch over like one of my warm firewood builds and then the rest of the timing uh, for the transfers and the piston or the exhaust timing I took out of the piston so if uh, I don't like the power characteristics of it with these timing numbers all I got to do is buy another piston throw it in there and it should be pretty close to a six horse pretty close to that six horse build uh, so uh, I dual purposed it that way so the, when I show you the piston you guys will think it's kind of ugly and funky looking uh, it's just a prototype I'm, I'm trying things but uh, let's see if I can I don't have my flashlight it's charging right now but there's the exhaust uh, like I said I cut this out huge and when you do it as big as I do, a uh, second ring plays heck getting in there. It's kind of a little fidgety, but if you're careful, you can do it. I, I opened up the transfers absolutely massive. Uh, I took them as far as I dared take them. I could probably go a little more out on the wall, but, uh, I mean, for 50 cc's, these are plenty, plenty big enough. I dropped that web a little lower than I typically do. Um, on V8s, when I used to build V8s... Uh, the, the web on a dual plane intake, if I was forced to run a dual plane intake, I'd, I'd cut a little notch out of the, the webbing there. I don't know, I'd go in about probably a half inch, down three quarters of an inch, straight across the belly and then up. And then I'd round it, and uh, believe it or not, that would make about 25 horse gain on a dual plane intake on a 350. So, uh, miniature scaled down version, I'm going to try it on the transfers on these. There's the uppers. Uh, I did do my wing. I didn't do a big wing. Sometimes I do a big wing. Sometimes I, I do a little, little wing. I chose a little wing on this one to give me some more piston support in there. Uh, it's got the kidney bean, lung, tonsil, bat wings, bat ears, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the Ford antennas seem to like them. Uh, they like them either or. If they, if they're not liking this I'm not seeing a loss in power I don't necessarily know if I'm seeing a gain in power if that makes any sense so this is this is all all done and uh, I'll show you another way to increase uh, a little bit of compression after you do a do a base cut uh, on here Well, just to, let me grab my flashlight off the charger. It might have enough in it. See that compression release? There is one, two, almost four threads. That's grab a there's a big lip down in here see that that step right there there's a big big step right there I don't like that that's a, a cavity to fill uh, where you can bleed off some compression so what I do is I get a bolt and you have to cut it on you have to index it and match it to the chamber and then uh, I had to chuck this up in the lathe because I over indexed it and I actually had to cut some of the head back on this uh, to get my depth back in. Uh, typically I won't waste my time doing that but uh, the stupid hardware store charges three dollars a piece for these bolts and I wanted to get the most out of my three dollar bolt. So uh, it's a 10 millimeter 
I don't know, I think it's a one two one two five or whatever they whatever they call it there. I just take the jug down there and thread thread one in. And uh see if you can see it now. I got once I snuck torqued that with a torque wrench, because I uh I in, indexed it. Now it's flush to the well, that light about blinding you. Now it's flush to the chamber and I matched it to the chamber. And I'll have to smear some Loctite around that bolt when I uh, go to, uh, well, I've washed my indexing. I well, know it's still there, right through that uh, shiny spot. i got to torque that bolt around until it gets to that uh, shiny spot there, and then I know my it's dead flush to my chamber. So that's just one little trick that you guys can do uh, to get a little extra uh, bang out of your you know your 4910s 501s and uh i'll show you the piston work it's ugly but don't don't worry about that this is a this is all in testing phase i didn't even get all the scratches out i had to do this pretty crudely but uh i set 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 my exhaust timing the rest of the way here uh, and then right here is the rest of my transfer uh, timing and then I didn't do nothing to the intake but uh, I will give out the blowdown I said I was doing a medium a medium blowdown it's 26 degrees blowdown it looks steeper in here because I started cutting into the dome I cleared a path I wanted a little extra flow out of my out of my transfers uh, like I said, we're trying things. But what's cool is if I don't feel this has enough, enough torque or enough compression or, or whatever, all i got to do is buy another piston and throw it in here in that same jug. And then I have a totally different set of numbers and uh, should be a pretty rootin' tootin' uh, work. So I did take the exhaust out a little bit wider on this one. I, I'm going to have to pop this gasket off and grain this out to match and I know there's going to be two bulges here and here that I, that's going to interfere but this saw might be getting a pipe on it um I don't know I haven't made my mind up yet I might might be throwing a pipe pipe on it I know if I throw a pipe on it I could for sure get my six and a half horse out of it I bet my 6.1 one would be over six and a half with a pipe on it but uh I, I'm really shooting for uh piston ported muffler i would like six and a half horse piston ported muffler and uh i think when i do the muffler mod i have not done one of my buck shots or double barrels or whatever you guys want to call them i'm not going to sit there and argue i've not done one on a 4910 i think uh i like how how that sounds on that 620 so i, I think i'm going to try to do a double barrel buck shot looking muffler on this one uh, this is still the stock carburetor. Um, I got to, uh, I, I did get that carb. Well, let me put you back in the holder here. I did get the carb back together and running on the one that uh, uh, I cut out on the lathe the other day. Uh, it's sitting on this 501 over here. This is, uh, you guys have seen this one on the channel before. It's set up with 3 8 24 inch bar. Uh, I got a 